Hi everyone, so I'm just doing a really short video about my uh, fall favorites. So it's now the month of August and I kind of wanted to do, I was trying to do a monthly favorite video but I never got the chance to do it so now I'm just collaborating everything together of all my recent favorites and I'll just call it like maybe end of summer favorites so because I use most of these products in the summer but I'm still using them right now as the season goes into fall so let's start with face products um, so I recently got this hard candy sheer envy primer and base and I heard a lot of good things about this it was eight dollars at Walmart and I put it underneath my foundation and my foundation is supposed to be it's like a primer so my foundation should stay the whole day so I really like this. I'm still going to try it out a little more, but I like it because there's no Walmart near where I am. So when I do go to Walmart, I try to stock up on hard candy items, and this is one of them. And next is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. And this one, it's very lightweight, light coverage, looks very natural on your skin, and I really like this a lot. And I have the shade Light Slash Medium Sheer Tint. And this is my first... Um, my first American brand BB cream because I've tried um, Skin79 and Leo Welly BB creams which are both um, Korean brands so this is the first time I'm trying one and it's a drugstore and I heard pretty good things about this and I do like it so that's good and also for face I'm using the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder and this is in medium sand and I like this a lot too. Um, it's good to like set your makeup and throughout the day you can use it as blotting. So I usually, I haven't, I mean, this has been around for a while but I never started using it until more recently and more in the summer. So I'm glad I got that. And uh, for blush and bronzer, I'm still using, I, I think I mentioned these two products before in a previous video, but I'm using the NYX um, Orange. And even though it says orange, it's actually a it comes very peachy on your on your cheeks. Like if I mean you don't put a lot of it on your cheeks, but you just dab a brush lightly in there and then just like um, pounce it on your cheeks, and it comes out as a beautiful, beautiful, just the right amount of color on your cheeks color. And for bronzer, the NYC um, Sunny is that what it is? NYC, yeah, in Sunny, sorry. Um, so there's that. Um, bronzer, I don't really try to go to a lot, like try a different, a lot of different kind of bronzers because, I mean, this one is pretty good already and this is really cheap. It's maybe around 3 or $4 at the drugstore. And it's matte also because I know a lot of people don't like um, shimmery bronzers, so this is also good. I'm one of those people who don't like shimmery bronzers, so yeah. And... Just to throw in another blush, I have been trying this Maybelline Dream Bouncy blush. And this is in number 15, Rose Petal. And this is a light peachy, it's light, yeah, it's, I would say peachy, light pink blush. Um, like that, yeah. And it comes out, oh, you can't really see it, but it comes out really light. And I, like, I, lo I just love playing with this texture. It's literally like Play-Doh. It's so cool. So there's that, and that's pretty much all for, oh, concealer. I've tried this Dream Maybelline Dream Lumi um, concealer, and this is in Nude, and I got this, and I really, really like this. I don't usually use concealer. I don't know why. I guess I don't, I mean, I don't have a lot of pimples, but I get some pimples sometimes, and yeah, and I guess I would use it for my under eye area, because I heard this is really good for that, because it's like illuminates it to like brightens it's like a concealer that brightens as well so it's like this I don't like this kind of um, applicant because I don't like twisting it reminds me of like in middle school when the in thing was like these kind of lip except they were lip glosses and you would have to twist this and that was a really in thing I don't know if you know what I'm talking about but just like the twisting like the first time you have you get this you have to twist it like 10 times until the product comes out and even now it's kind of frustrating because you don't know how much product will come out. Like if you keep twisting it then all of a sudden like a flood of products come out and you don't want that, right? So that's what I don't really like about it but but at the same time you can control how much you get, take out also so I guess it's okay. And also for face product, I have been trying the Urban Decay D-Slick 
uh, oil control makeup setting spray and I heard a lot of good things about this Urban Decay setting sprays. There's the D-Slick which is for oily skin. There's an all-nighter one that's for um, normal skin and there's one called Do Me which is for um, dry skin, sorry. Um, and the Do is spelled D-E-W. Huh? So yeah, so this is a small one. Um, just because I wanted to try it first to see if I like it. So, and this is the 0.51 fluent ounces, 15 milliliter one. So, I got this at Ulta. They have it at Sephora too, but the Sephora that I went to, they only had uh, the all nighter one in this size. And I haven't seen the Do Me spray in this size. So, maybe that one is only regular size. But this cost $12, and the regular size one is like $26, I think. Something around there. Um, but so far, so good. And especially the weather's really, really hot. And I feel like my face is like melting, like my foundation and all my makeup. So when I do spray this on, it feels so refreshing. And I know that my makeup stays on. So that's really good. So that's all for face. And now for eyes. Um, I love the Infallible eyeshadows. So this one is in Amber Rush. And it's, I really, really like, like, gold, I guess you call it the like gold bronzy kind of eyeshadows right now because it just looks so nice on my eyes and um, I can just put one like one sweep of this and it would look like all over my lid and it looks really nice. So this one is kind of a like a rose gold. Oh, I love rose gold. So I have this on right now. I don't know if you can probably, can't, probably can't tell, but yeah. <laughs> and oh, I'll put swatches on my blog later. And this one is in Gleaming Bronze. And sorry, I don't remember when I purchased these, so I don't know if they're still in stores, but I know that drugstores have continued to come out with even more of these invaluable eyeshadows. And these are L'Oreal. And this one is in, it's like a gold, basically. And the pigmentation is really, really good. Application is very easy and very long-lasting. And similar to the cream shadows are the iStudio Color Tattoo, Maybelline Color Tattoo by iStudio. So this one is in bold gold, and it's gold as well. It's very, it's kind of similar to the L'Oreal one, but I would say this one has less shimmer than this one. And this one's, le this one is a more, um, more of a, like, metallic -y feel. So this one is bold gold, and I believe that. The Maybelline color tattoos are cheaper than L'Oreal. Don't um, count me on that one, but one of them is significantly cheaper than the other. Or not really significantly, maybe from like a dollar or two, but... Oh, okay, and the next one is Bad to the Bronze, and this one's a really popular color, and it's a more of a bronzy color. And kind of, actually, now that I look at it, it is kind of rose goldy, but it is bronze, so that's really nice. And I will swatch them um, later and link them onto my blog. And so those are the four cream eyeshadows. I haven't really tried that many palettes this this time, but um, yeah, maybe my next video. For mascara, I got the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express. Love, love this one. It comes, at first I thought when I like was watching videos about this and got reviews, um, it was saying that it look, makes your um, makes your lashes look really natural, and I didn't want it to look too natural because I have really like short lashes, but they're actually really really good. Like it actually does. I would say it's comparable to falsies. I I don't know. I can't really tell the difference that much, but I can see that these are less like they put less product on your lashes. I think. And another one that I tried is the Benefit Bad Gal Lash, and I know this has been around for a while, but why did I not try this before? Because I absolutely love this. This works so, so well. I got this um, sample size in a, when I ordered a Sephora, from Sephora a while ago, and I never really tried it until more recently, and I just love this so much. So this was a free sample that came with my... Sephora thing, and I'm so glad I got it. And I think I'm going to buy the full version because I really, really like it. I know Benefit's mascaras are really, really popular and really and work really well. So, yeah, I really like it. I'm so glad I tried it. So those are my two mascaras. And for eyeliners, um, I'm still using the Physician's Formula Eye Booster. 
and this is in black is black I think and this is really good um, I'm scared that it's gonna run out soon but I really like this um, yeah and for eyeliner pencil I'm using the Milani liquify metallic eyeliner pencil in brown because black is a little too bold right now and I was kind of getting tired of black so I use a brown and it looks I think it's really good for under eye um, or under eye for the lower lower lash line you can't see it looks it's it's so dark that it does look black but I think it's not as bold as black so that when you wear it it's not like like huge black line it's like really obvious that your eyes are lined so really like that and I think that's all for eyes so for lips I have been loving the Revlon uh, lip butter in pink truffle and I never tried it before I bought it but I never tried it until recently and I absolutely love this color it looks so so natural and makes my um, lips look really like nice and not too like bold like bold lip color but it's still very natural and it's still obvious that I have lip color on my lips so I really like this one and yeah lip, I think lip butters are having more um, more colors now I think I'm not sure but yeah I mean I know there's also the Revlon has also come out with the balm the balm stains and those are pretty good but I haven't really tried those out as much as I could have so yeah so that's all for face makeup products I think and I guess I'll do like kind of more random beauty related still but for a cleanser I'm using the Avena Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub and this is pretty good I've just been trying it because I had a coupon for Avena so products so I thought I'd try it out because I really like the clear clear complexion foaming one yeah and for body wash I have been using the soap and glory clean on me creamy clarifying shower gel this is so 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 good I've not used that much because I um I split it with um a dove uh Dove body wash. I'm trying to finish that one first. It's a Dove sensitive skin one, but this is so good. It smells so good, lathers up really, really well, and just the smell stays on your body, and it just smells so good. I love this smell. Like I really want to try to find a perfume that's similar to this scent. Um, I heard that the Miss Dior Sherry one or the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle one is similar scent, so I'm gonna try check those out. But I love this so much. I definitely recommend it. It cost $14 at Sephora and it's just so worth it because I, I cannot express how much I love this but I'll probably do another video reviewing about this because I love it so much so definitely recommend it I also really like the hand lotion from so Soap and Glory it smells like this it's so soft in your hands and I just love it I'm going to do I should do a Soap and Glory like brand review video let me know if you want that because I have so much to say about it so yeah and last but not least for my nails right now I have on this color um, I have uh, this blue color and this is China glaze for oh you can't really see the pattern that well I'm sorry but China glaze for Audrey and I'm sure you've heard of this before but this is basically Tiffany blue and for the design, the lace design, which you can't really tell, I use the Conat Image Plate, and this is number 57. Um, yeah, I use, okay, you can't see because it's like a mirror, but I'm using this one right here. And it comes with this Conat Double Side Stamp Kit. So if you really like to do designs on your nails and you want to wow everyone because everyone looks at my design and they think I do it by myself by hand, but no. I use Conat and I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it. Buy it off Amazon. It's so much cheaper than if you buy it in stores and stuff. So it's just very, very easy. I can do a demonstration if you would like because I really like this. So yeah. Um, oh, and also cleansing wipes. I use the simple cleansing wipes. Because this is pretty good. And I also actually use the Pond's Cold Cream for my eye makeup. Ooh, lighting, sorry. <laughs> Pond's Cold Cream for eye makeup. I really like this as well. And that's all I have for now. Check out my blog for the swatches and more reviews and more posts. Including my cute little kitten, which is not here right now. But he is awesome. So I will talk to you soon. And hope you enjoyed the videos. Have a great day and a great rest of the week. Bye!